Get ready for your daily dose of WordPress and web development tips, tricks, and insights to help you find success with WordPress. You're listening to WP The Podcast with your hosts, David Blackman and Tim Streifler. Hey, everybody. Welcome to another episode of WP The Podcast brought to you by WP Gears. I'm David Blackman. And I'm Tim Streifler. Today, we're going to talk about the four most common reasons for slow WordPress websites. There is nothing worse than a slow website. I will leave it quicker than you can. I don't know. I was going to say shake a stick, but that doesn't sound very fast. So um, <laughs> I'm going to have to come up with a, a good analogy of, you know, something that moves quickly. Yeah. Um, bottom line is, is that it's just terrible when a site loads slow. I know when, you know, we're constantly working on our websites, our e-commerce websites. Sometimes they get slow, you know, um, and there's nothing worse than that for a customer who's coming to visit, who's trying to view your services or your products. It's just terrible. And here, here are the four most common reasons. Number one is terrible hosting. If you have bad hosting, <clears throat> it's going to kill you in the long run. It's going to cost you a lot of money. So I say this all the time, you know, if you're serious about your business, be serious about your hosting. That's your foundation. That's where it starts. That's the most important thing that you need to do, um, you know, to build the foundation of your business online. So get good hosting. Yeah. The analogy I think of is driving a, a really crappy old clunker and then wondering why doesn't this car go fast? Why isn't it reliable? Why why isn't it running smoothly? It's like, well, you're running a piece of crap. <laughs> and the same thing with hosting. It's like you have really you know cheap, bad hosting, and then you wonder why your hosting's not better, why your website's not running faster. So yeah, I couldn't agree more. Uh, the next reason, uh, the next most common reason for a slow WordPress website is unoptimized images. Uh, you can have great hosting and then do all the other things correctly that we're going to talk about today. Uh, but if you have bad images, it's going to uh, slow down your site dramatically. Uh, if they're way too big, uh, if they're not compressed, different things like that. In tomorrow's episode, we're going to actually talk about how to fix all of these things. So today we're talking about what the issues are, and tomorrow come back and we're going to talk about how to fix these issues. Um, but yeah, unoptimized images is a big one that people kind of skip over. They think that 5,000 pixels wide um, images is okay on a website, and it most certainly is not. All right. I think you're caching, Tim. Oh, you're right. I was like, why, why isn't David talking right now? <laughs> the, the next most common reason for slow WordPress websites is uh, not using caching. Caching is huge. We've talked about a lot. I'll give you a, a quick run through, but caching basically, uh, it creates a static version of your page and it serves that to the user because normally the way it works with WordPress is WordPress will go to the database and check for posts and it'll dynamically build the the, the page or the post or, or whatnot um, dynamically on the fly. So every time a visitor visits that, it's going and it's kind of rebuilding it uh, every single time. And so uh, WordPress websites, without any optimization, they're very slow. Caching will take a picture of that page, a copy of that page, so to speak. And rather than going to the database, it'll serve that a copy to the visitor and then every once in a while it'll go and check to see if anything changed anything updated and it'll refresh that cache um, but it, caching is really important and it's uh it should be on every single wordpress website you should have some level of caching if not multiple levels of caching uh, to make sure that your website's loading as fast as possible awesome fourth and final thing most common reason for a slow wordpress website bad plugins you know, you, you just because you can put a plugin on your WordPress website does not mean that you should do it. So poorly coded plugins can definitely affect the performance of your website. So you want to make sure that you do some research, find out that the plugins that you're using are rep are reputable. Uh, the developers are taking care of them. They're updating them. Um, but bad plugins can slow your website down big time. So make sure you're using good plugins. Tim? 
Anything else? Nothing uh, more that I want to add uh, today, tomorrow. Again, come back and we're going to talk about how to fix all, the, all these things and all of our, our best recommendations on the tools to use to uh, get them fixed up for, so you can have a fast website. Tim, until tomorrow, we'll see you then. Take care. Bye-bye. We've come to the end of today's episode of WP the Podcast. Join us tomorrow for more daily tips and strategies designed to help you run your WordPress business towards success. Remember to subscribe to WP the Podcast so you can stay up to date with each episode. And don't forget to rate and review us. We'll see you again tomorrow right here on WP the Podcast.